Right, so a while ago I made a loading coil out of a piece of air conditioning tube and uh, it actually worked surprisingly well. Now, I wanted to see if I could do anything a bit more practical and uh, permanent and I wanted something with adjustable inductance so it's not just a fixed coil and uh, what I came up with is what about a tube with some wire on it and um, a ring that slides over that tube and um, Here's, here's one I made earlier. This is sounding a bit like Blue Peter, isn't it? So, if, do you have Blue Peter in America? Uh, my, my American viewers might not get that reference. You know, quick sideline. Um, I was looking at my uh, statistics on my YouTube channel the other day. I've got about 30% of my viewers are in the UK, about 35% in America, and... Uh, the rest scattered around the rest of the world. So what that means at the moment is uh, about 30% of my viewers are going, oh yeah, Blue Peter, I remember that when I was a kid. And um, everyone else is going, Blue who? What? Who's Peter? What's he done to be so blue? Anyway, sideline. So what I've got is a bit of plastic tube here. I've wrapped a load of wire around it and um, some uh, string to separate the wires so they don't short out. So I connect that end onto uh, either the antenna wire, you know, the vertical element or the um, or the ballon. And then uh, this end, I've got a connection on there and I can literally just uh, slide that up and down as required, depending on how much inductance I need. So that's the idea. Uh, the problem with this one is um, I didn't quite put enough turns on it, so there's not quite enough inductance. Um, with my uh, quarter wave for 40 metres, it actually um, tunes in at about 2 megahertz, just at the very top of, um, of the 160 metre band. So I want another one of these slightly longer with a few more turns on it just to get me down well into the 160 meter band so um, hence I need to make another one now I've already uh, cut myself a, another bit of pipe this is uh, just plastic pipe you get from uh, any uh, DIY store and um, what I do is a bit of double sided tape just double side tape down all around it just to uh, give the um, coils something to stick to as you're forming it and then once I've done that on this one I've just tidied it up by putting a bit of uh, electrical tape on the end there. So if I move you on to the other camera and uh, what you can see here is uh, if I tape along there Actually, it probably, thinking about it, probably makes more sense to wrap the tape the other way. So if we go round that way. Excellent. Now, what I use for wire is, um, I use, uh, this is uh, electric fence wire, and uh, it's not the nicest stuff to work with, but it's uh, robust and it'll tolerate being outside, and uh, quite a low resistance as well, so that works quite well. What I need to do though is um, drill a couple of holes in here. Because what I do is I poke the wire through there. If you draw a couple of holes spaced reasonably close together, I'll do three holes. All right, find the end of my wire. And the idea is and put you back on this overhead camera and the idea is uh, go through one hole and back out through 
through the other. Pull that nice and tight. So we've gone in that hole and out the out the other there, and then back through the third hole I've uh, drilled. And what that does, that just uh, locks off the wire, holds it nice and tight, just like so. And then you've got a nice tail in there. You can cut that down and uh, put your connector on there. And uh, as you'll see on uh, my other one. I just put, when I'm done, I just put a bit of electrical tape over that just to uh, tidy it off. So the other thing we need is some string. Take off the um, double-sided tape, or at least one layer of it. And you can see now why I uh, put several rounds of tape, you know, why I orientated it that way, because then I can uh, just pull these layers off as I work my way along the tube. So this is where you need several hands really. So I'm going to uh, take my wire and my string and I'm going to just run them in parallel around the uh, circumference of the tube and the first couple of rounds are uh, the most awkward and tricky and I want to get them closer together. The, the whole idea of the uh, string in this by the way is that it stops the uh, stop some rounds of wire from touching each other and shorting out which uh, obviously you do not want and then it is literally just a case of uh, keep going so I'm sure you don't want to watch me do this non-stop so I'll uh, edit this bit out and uh, come back once I've done it but like I say the trick is and where it's fairly critical is to keep it tight and close together keep it looking neat and you, you can see what I'm doing here how I'm working my way around just slowly adding it all nice and tight layer on layer. Um, this wire isn't nice to work with to be honest but uh, I, I do tend to like to use it for my antennas outdoors just because uh, like I say it's electric fence wire it's tough you can put it under a hell of a lot of tension and it'll just take it it won't break and uh, it's pretty weather resistant as well well it's designed to be weather resistant because uh, it's designed to be outside. So there you go, you, you get the idea anyway. All right, roughly 30, maybe 40 minutes later and uh, one, or two, uh, one or two blisters that I didn't have before. Uh, this is what we've ended up with. So uh, the critical thing with this is just to make sure you get the right thickness of string, try and get your string about the same thickness as the wire because uh, the string is too thick your uh, clamp won't make contact as you slide it up and down if it's too thin the wire will probably short out so uh, like the other one you can see it's uh, a bit longer than the other one should give me uh, a little more um, inductance which is what I was after um, I've put uh, tape on the ends just to tidy it up uh, I just need to put a tag or some kind of connection on there to connect to my uh, Ballon and or antenna wire and then uh, just need a, a Jubilee clip as we call them here in the UK uh, I think most other places call them hose pipe clamp just to uh, slide up and down the tube like so and uh, I don't know if you can see that on camera um, this one I've literally just drilled a hole in the uh, 
in the end there and poked the wire through and uh, soldered it on. Need quite a hot soldering iron for that. Um, need to because uh, you have to heat up the whole clamp and then just uh, tag on the end. So uh, there we go. Get a uh, get one of these clamps on the new one and uh, connect it up and see what happens.